Thank you, members of for the states, and maybe just to re-emphasize that indeed, as a party and uh, the Kenya Panza coalition, we have indicated that Mr. Odinga is living true to his character and name as the Lord of Violence and the Master of Anarchy in this country. To so wish to state that uh, what we have seen and what has been christened as protests, picketing and demonstrations over the cost of living have nothing to do with peaceful protests, have nothing to do with peaceful demonstrations, nor picketing, but what we are now witnessing as a country is a campaign of anarchy and economic sabotage that is sponsored by the masters of state capture, who to date are yet to believe that their puppet in the last general elections lost the election. And they now seek a hand in the new Kenya Kwanzaa administration through blackmail, anarchy, and bloodshed. I wish to pose the question to them. Both the Lord of Violence, the Master of Anarchy, and his sponsors, who are well known, if you purport to be protesting on behalf of the people over the state of the economy and the high cost of living, how do you mitigate that by sabotaging the same economy? How are you dealing with economic challenges to the ordinary Mwanainchi by stopping that Mwanainchi from going around their day-to-day -day hassles through this, this campaign of economic sabotage and anarchy? How does the destruction of our economic activities witnessed yesterday and the days before deal with the cost of living? It is quite clear that after every election, Mr. Odinga has found it fit to use bloodshed and anarchy to negotiate himself into power. He is now joined by his sponsor, who to date is here to believe, as I said, is not in power, and his puppet never got anywhere close to power. And you can see the hands of the sponsor in the activation and mobilization of Mungiki gangs yesterday. If you speak to residents of Kitangala and Mlolongo, they will tell you there are mobilized gangs of Mungiki. And the sponsor of Mr. Odinga has been a commander of that Mungiki gang for years known by Kenyans. You have seen the leaders of Mungiki standing like armies or like generals in an army behind Mr. Odinga in all his public engagements. And that is why we flinch no highly today to tell Mr. Odinga that your campaign of anarchy, your campaign of bloodshed and economic sabotage will not go very far. Kenyans know you, Kenyans know your sponsor, and you must be dealt with decisively. And that is why we have called on our government to deal with Mr. Odinga, his sponsor, and all the other economic saboteurs with the full force of the law, and nobody should be spared. Not Mr. Odinga, not his sponsor, not the marauding gangs of Mungiki and other goons that they have mobilized, nobody should be spared. Lastly, we have all witnessed the losses that this country suffered yesterday. From young children who had to suffer because people are running into schools, to students and young people yesterday who could not make it to their schools, 
all in the guise, as I said, of peaceful demonstrations. There was nothing peaceful in the demonstrations. Mr. Odinga has no history of ever holding any peaceful demonstration anywhere in this country. And therefore, we want to tell him, since we know you, Mr. Odinga, since we know the intent of your sponsor, and we know what campaign you have engaged in, spare the Kenyan children from the pain that you are taking them through. We dare ask to Mr. Odinga and his sponsor. Commitment to ensuring that the country is peaceful and in supporting the current administration to get our economy to where it ought to be. Let me 